Hello, this is Onyx Tarot by Aubrey, and today I'm going to be doing the next three months for Taurus. So definitely hit the like button. I really do appreciate it, and it is super helpful to my channel. My personal readings are open, so feel free to check out my personal readings. Okay, so here we go. Let's get the next three months for Taurus. All right. All right, Taurus, we have the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, wow, High Priestess in Reverse, uh, the Fool in Reverse, the Moon, whoa, the next three months for you are going to be insane, and the Four of Wands, beautiful, bottom of the deck is the Star in Reverse, yeah, so the next three months for Taurus is um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, oh my god, it's going to be huge, look how many major arcana we have. We have the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Fool, the Moon, and the Star. <laughs> okay, let's get some advice for Tauruses for the next three months. Advice for Tauruses for the next three months. And this is from July 7th to September. Six of Wands in Reverse, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Princess of Wands in Reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. All right, Taurus. So, here we go. So the next three months, right now, um, you could be in a relationship um, and this relationship is going to like ascend to like a higher level <laughs> of commitment very soon. Okay, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like, I mean, especially if you are single right now, like you may be in the mode and this is probably why this, this is coming out. You may be in the mode where you're like, uh, whatever, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not really working on love, that kind of vibe. <clears throat> but no, the, you have a relationship here and it can lead to commitment and it's definitely coming after you move on from somebody. <clears throat> the 17th could be really important. The star in reverse. And the six of wands in reverse. So yeah, you could have ended some type of relationship that was like a super unhappy. This is somebody that you didn't really see things moving forward with at some point so you walked away you could have had a lot of conflicts and i'm seeing that um you don't have to kind of defend yourself towards this person anymore but you're still arguing with them for some reason um four of wands in reverse maybe i don't know why maybe you're still connected to this person maybe you're still off and on with this person or maybe you still have some type of issues or dealings with this person to where you're still connected to them but um i am seeing that you find somebody else oh yeah you find someone else especially this month could be really important now the high priestess and reverse um the full and so there's a lot of secrets here yeah, there's a lot of secrets here and I, secrets being taken advantage of, um, things that are hidden. So right now you may be a little confused, especially about your love life, uh, but it ends up in completion. So there's something that, what is the, okay, okay, literally, I was about to say something that needs to end, the death card and the fool. There's something that needs to end. Okay, Taurus, so that you can move forward. So right now, I don't know what's happening, why it's not ending. Like I said, you still are arguing with this person for some reason, five of wands. But like, there's something about it to where you have to make a decision to move on um, so that you can be happy. Is what you don't see is a star in reverse so you have that two times so the star in reverse is a card of no type of no healing it's a card of stress it's a card of guilty it's a card of somebody being held accountable and not like er, you setting your time out and you're stuck in that time out it's the card of no healing it's a card of lack of self-care and so i'm getting like this is like a huge warning um that like, I don't even know. It's almost like you're moving on with your life, right? From this person, you may have met somebody new. But you won't release yourself from this past person. You either still talk to them. Um, I don't know what this is. But it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to drop the swords. It's time for you to stop 
whatever engagement you have with this person because you're you're ruining yeah exactly you're ruining a new beginning for yourself like i mean that's what i'm getting may that's just what i'm getting it's like ruining a new beginning for yourself this is somebody who's has it's very this is someone who is very stable okay who is coming towards you somebody who's going to be in a, an authority position see there we go we have the empress this is somebody you could have a child with in the future okay you could already have a child with whoever this new person is but i'm getting that like your life will continue to kind of be stressful the the more that you give to two people and give to two situations okay um that's just what i'm getting now i see that it ends up you end up closing out a cycle uh with this person um, because it ends up in completion and the four of wands and you end up just not even dealing with this uh, past person um, at all. And that leads you to the four of wands, stability, a marriage, it leads you to uh, stability, it leads you to a celebration, okay? So that this is like, um, I feel like you're going in the right direction because it leads in the four of wands and the star in the reverse. And for your advice, what you don't see is the ace of cups. So it's like you're starting off a new love, like foundation with somebody. So like I said, I just get like you're happy, but then you are st still talking or still doing something or still connected to somebody from your past. And you're going to kind of see something. Something's going to flash right before your eyes some type of communication that you get that's gonna like kind of show you like oh no it's, it's ready to, it's time to move on um and it's this could literally be about new love somebody that you're connected to could say hey it seems like you're stuck you know you're stuck between two people in two situations do you want new love do you want to be happy do you want wish fulfillment do you want to move forward Yes or no. So somebody may give you an ultimatum. Okay. And it'll be up to you <clears throat> as far as what you decide. So for your advice, six of wands in reverse. So take a loss. Okay. Um, a perceivable loss. Literally, look at that. Six of wands in reverse. A loss. Five of pentacles is a worry card, but it's also being left out in the cold or leaving something out in the cold. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Losing, feeling like you're losing it all, losing all your wealth, losing all the, the whatever. This could be a job. This could be a relationship. But whatever it is, stop worrying about the money. This is somebody worrying about, <clears throat> I've been at this job for you know, 18 years or four years and it's making me miserable. But I found an, a side job and this is what I want to do more, but I can't, you know what I'm saying? Or this is, I've been in a long-term commitment with somebody and you know, like it's whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but this is about like your investment, your time, your energy, your money, your effort. You don't want to feel like you're losing. But I'm seeing the more that you stay in a situation that you're not trusting your intuition and you're having a lack mindset about something, the more you lose. So this, you accepting some type of like loss in a situation or like, hey, this isn't for me anymore. I need to move on. I need to go through something new. Leads you to what? The three of wands, virtue. It leads you to moving forward, turning your back against the situation, not having, you know, these terrible moments like where you're stuck and when you're not trusting your intuition and when you're waiting for something to happen and for something to not be complete okay seven of pentacles in reverse this could definitely be about work or money or a commitment in a relationship or something that you put a lot of time energy and effort in but be okay with just not forcing yourself to stick into something just because you've invested so much in it already seven of pentacles in reverse and also that's just yeah that's what i'm getting what you don't see is uh the love of your life or the job of your life or whatever in your life is coming it's right there everything that you have been manifesting is right there you just have to walk away Okay, so I do hope this was helpful. Feel free to let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button, subscribe, and thank you all so much for watching.